Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, this time for a little bit of a fun action. Um, a couple of days ago I played a bullet competition that I didn't record <clears throat> but uh, I regretted it right after because something very funny happened or fun depending on how you look at it and so I uh, decided to make a bit of a highlight out of it. Uh, I had almost two games in a row with one game in between so yeah very close to each other where I had uh, a fair few number of queens on the board so I thought that uh, as a bit of a <coughs> special case rarity I would share it with you. So I'm black here in this position and um, I was way ahead on the time here so I was really really wondering why my opponent wouldn't resign and because of he didn't I decided to turn this game into a bit of a fun business and at this point I decided that I would try to promote as many of those pawns as possible and he very kindly contributed to my plan so I promoted the queen and he luckily he didn't take it obviously luckily for both of us because I would have been made in two if he had taken it and also because this way I could get another queen and when he took oh uh, sorry when he played king b1 I went like nah I want four queens on that back rank and thank god he contributed so up four queens on the same rank not something you would see every day of course it has no chess value whatsoever because uh, queen takes or queen check would have been just as effective if not more but I thought that for a visual effect Having four queens on the back rank like this uh, is not an everyday occurrence. <clears throat> uh, he went back and allowed a mate into you know that you can do much against uh, three queens. But once again, this picture was quite uh, cool. And perhaps I felt a little bit inspired after this, I don't know, or just enjoyed the fun bits of the business because literally two games later, and I have to scroll down because it just doesn't take me back. So that was the game there. I played another and then next game you can already see the main theme again. <clears throat> the four queens reappeared. I will show you the game roughly from here. So I played c3 um, to prevent uh, queen takes c4 covering up the back rank. So that's why my rook d1 first. So c3, p6, rook d1, queen e2. And again, safest win here of course is rook takes. Queen takes, actually I'm on this is both so I can play that. Queen takes, king takes c2 and then queen and then come back. So I'd say they play b7, queen, check, and queen b7 and c7 and wins. But I thought, mm, nah, I like these ladies on the board in as many numbers as possible. So after queen e2, of course I played c2. And after uh, king up, <coughs> still I could have simplified with uh, rook takes, but I went nay. I want my ladies and after check check b7 it was almost inevitable now to allow them to have a queen too so after rook f1 he promoted the queen as well so once again the four queens are on the board in different proportions because now it's two versus two the only difference is that uh, I have got this extra rook down here and I put it to use right away basically whoever gives check first is going to win here because two queens are unstoppable force and sadly for him it was my check first so after a few of those set checks um, he had to throw in the towel here well he didn't but he's dead now if he comes here then queen takes f2 it's going to be mate in two with queen f6 uh, but he fell for a mate in one right away with king h4 and then queen h5 but once again <clears throat> the cool feature of the position is not so much the mate or how it came about but the fact that I played two games almost in a row and I had eight queens on the board, that's uh, pretty cool. So I thought I would uh, share it with you guys uh, if you are into some curiosities. Um, I hope you liked it and uh, I will be back with some more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.